What's happening, Booth Junkies? This is Mike Delgadio, and this is part of the Reaper for VoiceOver playlist. In this video, we're going to show you how to download and install Reaper, and if you stick around till the end, we'll also get you configured so that you can export MP3s. Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you how to download and install Reaper. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up our browser, and we'll go to reaper.fm. Then we'll click Download Reaper, and you choose the one that's right for your operating system. I'm on OS X 64-bit. So then I'll download the package, and I'll just put it here on my desktop. After a second or two, it will download to the desktop. So then we can close Safari, and we'll double-click it to install Reaper. First, we'll click on the agreement, and we'll drag the icon into our Applications folder. After a second, it will open, and you'll be able to start Reaper. Now, the first thing it will ask you to do is install an audio device, and this is the interface that you have connected to your computer. Mine is called an Audient ID22, so I'll make that selection, and I'll click Apply. If you've never purchased Reaper before, you'll see a screen with an evaluation button. You can just click Still Evaluating until you're ready to buy. I'll just maximize the window so that we can see it. And now the next thing you want to do is install the MP3 rendering library. So the way we do that is we go to the Render menu, we choose MP3, and we see there's a button there that says Lame Unavailable. Lame is the MP3 library. If you click that Lame Unavailable, it will tell you where you can download Lame from and take you right to that website. Download the version that's right for your operating system. Mine's this one for OS X. And I'll save that to my desktop. Once I have it downloaded, I can close out of that website. And you see it also has a location where we should put this library once we've unzipped it. Just move this out of the way over here. Great, we'll close that. We'll cancel out of there. And let's see what we've downloaded. We'll see that we have the zip file on our desktop. We'll double click it to unzip it. And you'll see that we have this dilib. On Windows, it might be a DLL file. But that's the file we need to drag into our specific spot in Reaper, depending on where it told you in that window. Next, we'll open Finder so that we can put the file in our library, which you need to get to by holding down the Option key. So click Go, and you see how I click Option, and that library appears? Choose Library, and then it goes to Application Support, then to Reaper, then to User Plugins, and we'll drag that library into the folder. And that's all you need to do. We can close out of Finder, and then we can close out of Reaper. We'll need to restart it. This time I'll open up Reaper from Spotlight. So on OS X, that's Command Space, type Reaper, and choose it from the choices, and we'll see that Reaper restarts. Now we'll just go back to that render menu and make sure that we installed it correctly. We'll come down here and we'll choose that the output format is MP3, and we see it now says lame and the version number. So the lame library has been installed and we can now render to MP3. That's something you have to do because MP3s are encumbered by patent, so you'll need to download it, install it yourself. Okay, before we move on, let's just make sure that we can record a track, see our meters moving, and see that a waveform appears within Reaper. So we'll cover this in more detail in a later video, but the quick way to do it is to click Insert Track, and we see that a new track is added to Reaper. We click the Record button to arm the track, and we can see that our meter is moving. So that's good. If yours is not moving, you may need to expand the track and choose this little box here to choose which microphone on your interface is active. So on mine, it's called Analog 1. And I can see that the meters are moving. And I'll click Record. By the end of this video series, I hope you love Reaper as much as I do. Once I click Stop, it'll prompt me to save. I'll save that track onto disk, and now we'll confirm that we can hear it. By the end of this video series, I hope you love Reaper as much as I do. Fantastic. So now we've been able to add a track, arm it, record, and confirm that our recording is ending up in Reaper. Great. So now you've seen how to download Reaper, install it, and get the MP3 rendering library set up, because you're going to need that. So in the next video, I'll show you how to start recording.